Hello everyone, it's your girl Alicia here and today we are back with another video. So today guys, today, 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 today is that time where I, the creator, me, myself, and I answer your guys' questions that you guys have sent me either on Instagram, Twitter, or on YouTube itself. And surprisingly, I've gotten a good amount of questions. I, I am, I was so shocked of seeing the amount of questions you guys have sent me because usually when I do stuff like this, usually not a lot of people ask questions. Um, which is cool, it's fine, but when I don't get in a lot of questions, I either have to cancel the Q&A or just cancel the live stream. Wherever the Q&A is going to be held at, I have to immediately cancel if I don't get a lot of questions from people. Um, but I've got a lot of questions, surprisingly, so I will be answering most of them. Probably not all of them, but I will be answering most of them that you guys have sent me. So this might be a long video, so bear with me. Um, I, I also... So the questions, I've seen questions on YouTube where people ask a question specifically to Sonic himself, which, sorry, but this is a creator Q&A, not the character, surprisingly, um, which I know is probably, probably better, but I, I just want, I want you guys to get to know me better, um, get to know me as a person, as a YouTuber, um, so the people who ask questions to Sonic, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I will eventually do a character Q&A in the future, so there will be a series of that. Don't worry, I will announce it when it's time to announce it. But I, I have been thinking about doing a Q&A focus with only the characters in the future. So I'm sorry for those people who want questions directly to Sonic. Um, but those are going to have to wait till I figure out when I want to do those character Q&As. It's not just Sonic too. I've been thinking about doing like other character Q&As like Tails, Knuckles, Amy. Stuff like that, so stay tuned for that in the future. Um, people tend to forget that uh, there's a human being <laughs> behind the character, behind the channel, so I decided to do this Q&A ba basically just focused on me so you guys get to know me better as a person and as a content creator, so that's why I decided to do this series. Um, so if you guys haven't seen my announcement video uh, that I uploaded about a week ago, the time I upload this, it will be about a week. Um, that if you guys don't know, every once a month I will do a Q&A for you guys. I will announce it when it, I start planning the Q&A. Um, but I will announce it every time when it's about that time to do a Q&A video for you guys. Um, so yeah, so I have a lot of questions, so let's get right into it. But if you guys want to see more videos out of me, please give it a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from the Blue Blur 360. Without further ado, let's get right into these questions. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, my first question is, when did you first discover YouTube? So, I don't know exactly when I first discovered YouTube. It's gotta be when I first got my, like, my first ever real phone. Because, well, technically my first ever phone was a flip phone. And those are really old school and old phones. But that, that was the phone that my parents wanted me and my sister to share on at first. Um, but my first ever real phone, when I you know, I got to have to myself was probably when I was like 11 or 12 years old at least. I was I was definitely before a teenager when I first got my first ever real phone. Um, and then I first saw, you know, um, you know, the app with the play button. I'm like, what is this? Like, I was really young, so I didn't know what it was. So I clicked on it and I just saw a bunch of videos and I'm like, you know, can I watch these? <laughs> and I pressed on it and I pressed a random video. Um, but uh, I I don't remember the first ever video I watched, that's for sure, but I watched a bunch of videos and I'm like, this is pretty cool, and I fell in love. Like, the videos I like to watch usually on YouTube is plush videos. Uh, I like to listen to music a lot on YouTube as well. Um, and, you know, I, I do like art videos as well. Um, so I, I thought it was cool at first, and then I, it took me a while to figure out if I wanted to make a channel of my own. Um, but when I was like 13, going into 14 in 2016, I made my first channel ever, which was WoodyFan360, which was my first original name. Uh, that's how it came to be, and then I posted my very first video, which was a, like a toy review kind of video. It was like a pet suspender toy review video. I remember my very first video. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. That was back in 2016. Um, because my mom gave me like Toy Story Pest dispensers and I reviewed it, reviewed it and all that stuff and you know that's kind of how I came to be as a YouTube and a content creator and then eventually my first ever channel that had my very first video on got taken down by YouTube sadly by copyright strikes and stuff like that 
um, and then I made this account right here to replace it, um, which was still WeFam 360 at the time. I made a bunch of plush videos, gaming, all that stuff, and then eventually I started editing my own videos, and then I got more into the voice acting later on, and then that's kind of how the Blue Blur 360 came to be. I'm more of a Sonic content creator now, which is really fun. I really like doing this, um, but it, it, it's crazy to me. It's crazy how much, how much I've progress throughout the years you know like I was like back then I was really corny cheesy um, I didn't know how to voice act at all surprisingly when I first started YouTube like I when I did plus videos all my characters sound the same they all sound the same and there's probably still some characters that do sound the same at times but I try to at least try to change my voice up at times with different characters if that makes sense so yeah so my first ever time discovering YouTube was Definitely when I was like 11 or 12 years old when I first got my first ever real phone. And then I don't remember my first ever video, but I did remember I like enjoyed plush videos a lot at the time. So, yeah. What is your favorite food? Um, my top favorite food is probably hamburgers or cheeseburgers. Which is anything burger related, I will eat. <laughs> I, I'm a huge burger fan, which is probably the most <laughs> American thing to say. But I, I love my burgers. I love burgers. My close second is pizza. And then if I had to choose like a third thing, it will probably be chicken or something like that. Like I love chicken sandwiches. I love chicken salad, stuff like that. So, but my first top ever thing, my favorite food to eat is definitely hamburgers. Is it easy to have a YouTube channel like yours? Um, <laughs> uh, not really, no. It's not as easy as you think. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, if you're doing the YouTube channel by yourself, it will be a little bit more of a challenge than doing it with someone else. Like, if you do it with someone else, it will be a little bit easier for you. But as for me, I do my channel independently, um, and it's not as easy as you think. Uh, first, you need the motivation to film, which I always have the motivation to film and upload and entertain you guys. Um, and then you have to film, and then later you have to edit, and then you have to also when you upload a video, you have to do descriptions and everything like that. You have to do all of that by yourself if you're doing a YouTube channel. Um, at least that's what I do. Like there's other people out there who probably does it a little bit easier than me, but I I I work my butt off with every single video I do, um, including like editing and stuff like that. And editing, I will tell you, if you start editing videos. It will be such a pain in the butt <laughs> to edit because editing is my least favorite thing to do. Like, it, it pays off at the end, don't get me wrong, it pays off. But it's, it's such a pain, especially if you're doing it on your phone, because I edit my videos on my phone and, you know, you get a lot of cramps and stuff like that eventually and it's, it, it, it pays off at the end, but it's, it's still the least favorite thing I like doing when it comes to making videos, but it, it's worth it. But, you know, it'll probably be easier to edit on a computer or stuff like that, but as for me, I edit on my phone, which is really challenging at times, and sometimes you can mess up in editing, which screws up everything, and then you have to redo it at times, and yeah, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, but if you do it with someone else, like, that will be a little bit simpler and a little bit easier for you. Um, and then also the music, like you have to make sure you don't get copyrighted and all that stuff. You gotta make sure of that. When it comes to music, you have to find the music that won't give you a copyright strike or anything like that. Just a copyright claim. Um, which I, I try, I try so hard to not, to not get copyright claimed or anything like that. Um, but it, it's fun doing a YouTube channel. But it is challenging to do it by yourself, I will tell you that. I really want to try voice acting, how do you manage to do it? Um, just passion, I guess. I mean, I was I was always passionate to do voice acting ever since I was little. Because when I was little, I used to, you know, role play a lot of shows I know, movies I know, all that stuff. And I got, and I got to show that more on YouTube, and I got a lot of comments. Like, at first, when I started voice acting, I did get some hate for it. I did get some hate for my voice acting, especially since I'm a female and, you know, you know, female voice in a male is like a, like a big, like a big negative thing to people, but it, it, as long as you try and you get some more positive comments rather than negative, the negative comments are just pathetic to me, if that makes sense. Like, it's not really helping to me. If anything, it motivates you. So for people out there who wants to try voice acting, if you get hate for it, I say just let that hate motivate you. Don't let it 
bring you down because I used to be I used to bring myself down all the time with the hate comments um, but then it just it just builds me up it makes me stronger it makes me motivated to just keep going and doing what I love it's not gonna like negative comments shouldn't stop for what I love which is a voice act to entertain to entertain you guys to be a content creator um, so you need to put a lot of passion in what you want um, that's kind of how I managed to do it it's just passion to do what I love um, and if you have the passion to voice act, I say go for it because that's something I wanted to do when I, since I was little. And I, I was originally, like I said, I was originally thinking of going to college and getting a major kind of into filmmaking. Um, but then I saw YouTube and I made a YouTube channel. I'm like, why go to college when I can show everyone around the world to show what I really can do on YouTube? Um, rather than going to college and going back to school for that. You know, it's just, you know, people who want to go to college, go to college. It's really, it's really good for you. It will get you to a good career, stuff like that. But I've always found college, I, originally I wanted to go to college, but then thinking about it in my mind, I'm like, going back to school, it's just a way to go back to school, man. Like, it helps you, don't get me wrong, it gets you a good career, but it's just a way to get you back into school and getting back to doing homework and all that stuff. It might be fun than actual regular school. It might be way more fun. But, you know, you're doing all these, like you gotta, if you're gonna go for a major and all that stuff, they're still gonna expect you to do science, math, stuff like that. They're still gonna make you do that. And I'm like, why bother? Like, this isn't this isn't what I wanna, like, this is not what I wanna go to college for. I'm, I'm here to get my major, <laughs> you know, I am into filmmaking and all that stuff, but there's some colleges that still expects you to do math, science, stuff like that is what I heard. Um, and I'm like, why bother? Like, why do that when I can just immediately do what I love on YouTube? So I say if you wanna do voice acting, I say you have to make sure you have the passion for it to do what you love and be sure to not let the negative hate comments bring you down. I, I will tell you that because it will it will lose your motivation. It will it will just bring you down where it comes to a point where you don't want to have the motivation to do what you love anymore and you don't want that, do you? You want to you want to have a passion for what you love doing. And that means to not let the hate comments get to you. Um, because I have a passion voice acting and I still get hate comments to this day with my voice acting, but at least I try to not hide my voice. You know, there's people who try to do AIs, there's people who tries to do a voice changer where they make their voice a little bit either deeper for a guy or higher for a woman and that stuff is probably the most is more corny and cheesiest thing than rather having a female who doesn't hide her voice to do male characters. I just I just find that more corny and cheesy rather than me not hiding my voice and doing doing what I love. So that's my answer for that one. At what age did you start your channel? So, just YouTube in general. I started my channel when I was 13 years old, going into 14 back in 2016. So, it's past seven years now. It's gonna hit eight years in 2024. So, it's I've been on here for quite a while and I enjoy it and I'm gonna keep being on here for more years to come because like I said, I want this to be my career. I want this to be my job. Um, I have a job outside of YouTube. I work at retail and I'm not going to tell you, it's not fun. <laughs> Working at retail is not fun at all and I am so determined to keep pushing forward just to reach my dreams, my goals, where there's some point where I can just quit that job and just do what I love full time, if that makes sense. So doing this for seven years is crazy. It doesn't even feel like seven years. It, it, I mean, sometimes it does because I feel like I've gotten older, I've, I've matured a lot <laughs> since then, but it still doesn't feel like it's been seven years, going into eight years. It doesn't feel like that at times. There's definitely some, a lot of things that has changed on this channel. Um, I did make some friends on YouTube, um, but now, now currently when it comes to YouTube and stuff like that, I'm all independently. Like I, all, I do everything independent now. Um, I'm done depending on other people on the internet and stuff like that like no offense to those friends that I've made but I I'm I'm all independent now um, I, I'm independent I have a huge work ethic and I'm gonna keep working hard and just show my effort and just determine to prove people wrong like the people I used to be friends with on YouTube and stuff like that has just 
has just not treated me the way I wanted to be treated. Um, and they, I, I did remember getting made fun of and just, just them thinking that I can't do anything for myself. They made me feel like that. They made me feel like a waste of time at times. Um, I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but I made friends on YouTube where it just wasn't worth it. Like, I, I, I'm like, friends is just not my main priority to hang out with now. Um, I'm more independently, um, I'm just more independent now. Like, I'm an independent female and I feel more stronger when I'm independent. Like, no offense to my friends I've made, not just on YouTube, but in real life as well, but they're not my main priority anymore. Um, I care about my family than anything. I care about my family. I care about myself, my future, and that's all I'm going to work hard on. Like, not just for myself, but for my family as well. Um, so, my channel is going to be me, myself, and I for as long as I can remember, for as long as... I take my path, take my road to my future. Um, so yeah, I've done this for a while now and that is not gonna stop in the slightest. If you were a Sonic character in real life, who would you be and why? Um, so, uh, there's two characters, like I'm really tied between the two, but one of them is Shadow for sure. Not just because he's my favorite character, but also because I just feel like I can relate to him at times. Definitely not in the darkest moments of his life. Not, of course not, but like I said, I'm independent. He's kind of an independent character. His powers are also really nice, like Chaos Control, Chaos Blast, Chaos Spear. All his abilities are pretty cool. Um, the other character I was thinking about was Blaze as well, because Blaze is another really independent character. Um, and her fire powers are real nice, um, and she she kind of has like a, a slight temper, not not too bad. And I I can get a I can get a bad temper as well at times. I will be honest. I can't really choose between the two, but if I had to choose one of those characters, um, it would probably be more towards Shadow because Shadow has the better abilities. He's an independent. He's he's bad a. He red and black is like like my top two favorite colors as well. Um, it's just, his abilities out of the other characters are just way cooler to have. Um, and just rocket shoes. Let's not forget about his rocket shoes, okay? His rocket shoes would be pretty, pretty cool to have too. To take you places, to speed your way over to whatever place you wanna go to. Um, Silver is also not a bad character as well. Silver has telekinesis, can travel through the future. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, but I think I'm more leaning towards Shadow than the other characters, to be honest. Do you wish to try voice acting? Hell yes. Like like I said, like the past couple of times now, voice acting is something I really wanted to do since, since I was younger. Since I was really little where I used to like role play, like shows I know, movies I know, all that stuff, and I knew the lines very, very well every time I role played. And sometimes I do that just to exercise my the personality out of characters, just to exercise my voice and stuff. I do role play at times just to get ready uh, to voice act and stuff like that. Um, but when I was younger, I used to role play shows and movies all the time, nonstop. Um, and some people will say I was really good at it when I was younger because I used to remember the lines like on the dot, like so good. Um, and I just when I started making my channel, I, I knew that was the kind of path I want to go on, is voice acting and entertaining you guys and proving people that I can, I can, I can do better. I can voice act and, and I can just show people the passion I have for voice acting. Like I said, the negative, the negative comments I get now, guys, does not bother me. That's why in the future, I am planning to read some hate comments and laugh my butt off and just speak my two cents and move on from it. Um, with a smile on my face and everything. I am doing a video of that in the future, so stay tuned. But just negative comments just not bother me. But yes, voice acting is something I really want to do. Um, I don't know if it's, it will be a career in the future. I don't know, but like I said, YouTube is kind of like kind of like the career I want to head to in the future because I, I don't like retail, I don't like having my own boss. I, I would rather be the boss rather than having someone boss me around all the time with my job. Um, so I, I would rather just be my own boss and make a channel and just grow as a content creator and just show my voice acting there rather than just 
being bossed around on and uh, all that stuff. If I if I did do voice acting as a career and stuff like that, I would I would hate getting told what to do and all that stuff when I can easily be my own boss. What's your favorite hobby outside of YouTube? Um, so outside of YouTube, I like to draw a lot. Like drawing is something I I love to do ever since I was like 11, 12 years old. Um, I used to draw a lot. I went to drawing classes in school, stuff like that. Uh, drawing is something I really like to do. Um, I also like to do puzzles. Um, I like doing Legos. If you guys can see behind me, I have a few Legos on my shelf back there. I like doing anything that clears my mind. Cause guys, I'm, I'm telling you right now, when it comes to the real world, like my actual real job and stuff like that, I can get stressed and I can gain a lot of anxiety at times. I also can, I also have really bad depression at times as well. Um, and I just need some stuff to clear my mind, clear my head, and stuff like this outside of YouTube. Like YouTube is something I can get away from the stress as well. Um, but outside of YouTube wise, there's drawing, there's puzzles, there's Legos, anything to just get my mind away from the world for a little bit and clear my head, it's something I will, I will be down to do. Um, I also like listening to music a lot. Um, and I, <laughs> this is like a really boring answer as well, but uh, I like to clean. Like I don't like, I don't like my room being messy. I don't like messy areas. Like I like to keep everything organized, clean, stuff like that. Um, and I, I just, I take care of my family as well. Um, I take care of my family, my sister, um, stuff like that. Um, but hobbies wise, definitely drawing. Um, and then Legos as well. Just anything that clears my mind, I will do it. Would you rather be Mario or Sonic? Ooh, ooh, that's 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 a hard question to be honest. Like, uh, Sonic has the speed. Um, he has like super. He has different forms like super and Werehog, uh, Dark Sonic, Hypersonic. He has a lot of forms, but Mario probably has way more forms than Sonic does. Um, Mario has the fire flower, the ice flower, he has a lot of, he has a lot of items. I honestly can't, Oh, I want to aim more towards Sonic because I'm, I'm probably just being straight up biased, but having super speed would be so nice to have. Super speed can just get you anywhere without like flying and stuff like that real fast. So I'm, I'm trying not to let my bias get in the way but I'm honestly really honest to honest to God I think Sonic will probably be the character I would want to be as instead of Mario just because of speed and I don't like heights I don't like heights guys so even if Mario had his like propeller um propel, propeller item um on him and he could fly up the air and fly to places I'm not a big fan of heights so using Sonic speed to get there pretty fast on the ground would be actually pretty useful, so I think Sonic is probably who I would rather be. If you have a passion, what will be your future career? Um, should I even say? <laughs> filmmaking. Filmmaking, acting, voice acting, just anything in the filmmaking business I will do. Um, I will do as my career. Um, originally I wanted to be like a, like a soccer player and everything because I loved playing soccer when I was a kid, but when I got older and started role playing and all that stuff, role playing as a kid with movies, shows, and stuff like that. I realized I loved acting even more. So I just, I just thought if I ever went to college and had a major, it would be in filmmaking. Um, so just filmmaking, anything filmmaking in general. It's just, it's something I would do as my career. Favorite holiday? Mine is Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Well, of course, those are like the top three most popular holidays out of the year. But no, seriously, my favorite holiday is obviously Christmas. I'm always in the Christmas spirit every year. Um, I love being around my family around Christmas time. It makes me feel like I'm in the spirit. Um, it's just Christmas always makes you feel good. Every Christmas, you feel good and you get to hang out with family, have a feast with your family, and appreciate your loved ones. Um, that's something you should do every day either way. But it's still, either way, Christmas is the one time of the year where you get to spend time with just your family and your loved ones and appreciating them for what they do, all that stuff, um, and having a great feast and having fun. My close second favorite holiday is uh, Halloween. I love Halloween too. Like, I, I mean, as I gotten older, I really don't care for it as much. But the only thing I like, 21 year old me, the only thing 
I like about Halloween now is dressing up and being someone for, for the day. Like, I always love that part is dressing up now. Um, and I kind of grew out of the candy, so the candy aspect of Halloween just does, I don't care about that anymore. But dressing up has always been so fun to me on Halloween. Um, I always love dressing up into someone for a day and just being that character. Um, last year I, I dressed up as Black Cat from the Spider-Man franchise. I'll post a picture right here. I dressed up as Black Cat last year. That was fun. I don't know who I'm going to be this year. I haven't really decided yet. But if I be, if I dress up as someone this year for Halloween, I will definitely post it on my Twitter and Instagram. So go follow me on there. Um, but yeah, that was always fun to me. But Christmas is my favorite holiday out of the whole year. I've got a question for you. What's your favorite thing about voice acting? Uh, my favorite thing about voice acting is probably switching from one personality to the next. Like, for example, like Shadow and Sonic, for example, two of them both hedgehogs, but they have like kind of like a different personality to them. Like Sonic, for example, is an egotistical, you know, likes to run a lot, um, doesn't think type of hedgehog. And then there's Shadow, who is edgy, who's a bad boy, who doesn't give a crap what anyone says, who's really independent, stuff like that. And just... Just switching from one personality to the next has always been cool to me. I also like to show a lot of emotion out of my voice acting, like when I do comic doves. Like there's been a couple of comic doves when I bring my heart and soul out of like the dramatic, like depressing tone of comics. And a lot of people enjoy that. And I will be doing more of the dramatic tone kind of comic doves in the future. So stay tuned for those. But a lot of people loved my emotion in them. And I always love bringing out emotion to most of my voice acting as well, which is another really cool thing to do. And I got a lot of positive comments about that. So thank you guys so much. Um, but my probably my favorite thing is probably switching from one personality to the next. It's always been so cool to me. Do you have any Sonic OCs past and present? Love your videos. Well, thank you. Um, Sadly, no. I, I don't have any OCs that I've created. I, I, I wish. I, I, I should. I should make my own OC. I don't know what my OC would be like, though. Um, if I had to make my own OC, it would probably be like a Wolf Mobian with um, like bad A gear and who is independent and stuff like that. I mean, if someone wants to make an OC like that and who draws and all that stuff, go for it. I mean, I want my OC to be kind of bad A. Um, like maybe a wolf or something like that because I love wolves. Um, wolves is like my spirit animal so I would go with like a wolf Mobian who is bad A and has a lot of gadgets and gear and stuff like that and dresses like a bad A. Like I would I would do something like that. Um, like nothing like nothing too edgy or stuff like that but something something cool looking. Um, but no I don't really have any OCs that I've created. Who is your favorite Sonic character, both canon and non-canon? Um, so the, for those of you who doesn't know at all uh, who my favorite character is, it's clearly Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow is my all-time favorite character. He's never bored on screen seeing him in games and stuff like that. He has great abilities. He's really independent, quiet. I feel I always feel bad for his past, like what goes on with Maria and all that stuff. His past always gets to me. Um, and he reminds me of myself at times, like not all the time, but at times he has his moments where I'm like, that can be me, like that 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 can relate to me so much. As for non-canon, I have no idea. Um, I'll probably just say Sally because if it wasn't for Son Amy and if Amy wasn't like a canon character and all that stuff, Son Ally would definitely have been in the game. I, I would say I would close second favorite ship as probably Son Ally. Uh, Sonali has just always been such a cool ship to see in the comics. Um, Sally also reminds me of myself. Like, she's hardworking, she's loyal, she always got Sonic's back no matter what. Um, and she, she's a great independent female character. Like, she, she's really, she's really bad A when she has her moments when she's really bad A in the comics. Um, and she's, she's really good with like electronics, like computers and stuff like that. She's really good with that stuff. Um, Sally is a really, a really good, really amazing ca character. She's only in the comics, which sucks. We, we would love to see her in games, but 
we know that's not gonna happen, but seeing her in the comics are re it's really nice. I love seeing her in the comics. She's bad A. She's, she's a bad A female character. Favorite female Sonic characters, name four of them, and what is your plan of this channel? So let me tell you my plans for the channel first. Um, I, I'm really tempted to try to get more like plush videos, like stories, like plush video stories out for you guys. Like if you guys haven't checked my community post, I have a lot of plans for like future stories and stuff like that, like Girl in the Phantom Hogs, which I'm super excited to get started on that. My goal is to get that filmed in October in the beginning of October and get it posted at the 31st of October, which is Halloween. I am so tempted to do that and I am going to be motivated to do that. So there's going to be times where I'm not going to post a lot, mainly because I want to get that out as soon as possible and I want to focus on that more than other videos. Um, I also want to try to do a lot more gameplays for you guys. I know I keep doing gameplays and I stop for a while and then keep going later on, but I really want to do gameplays as well, so I'm going to be doing more of that. Like Sonic, Shadow, and Silver plays Bendy and the Ink Machine. That will be a series that will be coming out around October, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and I also want to start working on my second channel as well. My my second channel, my reaction channel. I've stopped on that for a while um, because I've, I've been so focused on my main channel, but I want to try to get more back into that. But as for this specific channel, I really want to try to do more plus videos for you guys. I want to try to get those stories out for you guys. Um, and I want to do more reactions because a lot of you guys like my reactions. And of course, I will continue doing the comic dubs, but I want to focus on other future projects as well so that those can get posted out so I can give you guys more variety of other videos in the future of my channel. But as for the top four female Sonic characters that are my favorite, uh, this is completely out of order. So this is not like a top four from worst to best kind of thing. This is just top four out of order. So Amy is clearly one, uh, two will be Rouge, three Blaze, and then four Sally. Those are my top four favorite female characters. What is your favorite animal? So my favorite animal in general is wolves. Wolves are my favorite animals. It's pretty much just a huge dog and I'm a huge dog lover, but animal in general will have to be wolves. Like if I had to guess what my spirit animal would be, it would be wolves. Wolves are independent. They're loyal, um, they're strong-willed, they're determined, they, they're, they're also a little loners, like they're independent, like I said, so I, I can guess my spirit animal will have to be wolves. Wolves are just beautiful. Like, I recently did, uh, one of those diamond dots paintings that has wolves on them because I want a picture of a wolf to hang on my wall. I will post a picture right here of what the Diamond Dots painting looks like. I'm super close to getting it done. I just have like this small corner and then I'm done. And I'm gonna hang it on my wall somewhere. But um, wolves are always been my favorite, favorite animal. Like they're so cool looking, awesome, independent, independent powerhouse animals. They're just, they're so cool looking and they're loyal too, which is like every other dog out there. So yeah, wolves all day, every day. How long have you been voice acting? Uh, so I started doing like acting in general when I was really young, like maybe between eight to 10 years old. That's when I started really role playing specific shows and movies that I love so much and that I pick a character I enjoy so much and that I role play their lines every single time. But voice acting wise, it's probably when I first started my channel which was back in 2016 when I did plush videos and stuff like that. My voice actor wasn't that good at first. But then I got better throughout the years and a lot of people enjoy it now. So I was 13 going to 14 when I first started voice acting. What would you do if your channel got terminated and banned for life? Well, if that happened, I would one, cry. I would cry because my first ever channel got taken down by YouTube before and I was super bummed with that. Luckily that channel had like at least 300 Mm, three, between 300 to maybe 500, 600 subscribers on there before I got taken down. Um, it wasn't a lot, but if I got this specific channel taken down, that would be devastating to me. Um, I would have to build everything up again, and that will suck so much. Um, but if I got banned for life, I don't know what I would be doing. Um, I would probably either one, keep working at my retail job, or two, it's never too late to go to college, so maybe just 
head to college and just hit the major of filmmaking or voice acting. That was probably something I would do if I had to get banned for life on YouTube, which, knock on wood, that would never happen. Um, and knock on wood that I won't get taken down by YouTube again, but I, you never know. But I, I'm very careful of this channel from now on, um, because if I lose this channel, it's going to be devastating to me. And I will have to work, I have to, you know, start from the bottom again and work my way back up the top and gain, gain, gain a fan base again, and that would suck so much. Who was your biggest inspiration into making videos? Um... So when I first started my channel, I was mainly a plush channel, which was basically mostly plush videos. So it's got to be a lot of plush YouTubers like Super Mario Logan, Cute Mario Bros, um, Pixar Kid, who goes by this name by the way, shout out to you. A lot of plush YouTubers that I really liked when I was younger. Um, I loved a lot of plush videos uh, when I was like... When I started getting my first ever real phone, that was probably when I saw more plush YouTubers and then I got into Super Mario Logan uh, when it was really good at the time, but I I just, there was a lot of plush YouTubers that inspired me to make videos. Um, recently, when I started changing my channel to more Sonic content, I was watching a lot of, you know, Sonic character content like Speedy Blue and uh, Shadow the Hedgehog and other Sonic content creators out there that I, that kind of inspired me to be more of a Sonic content creator. Um, and people who love voice acting as well. Um, there's a lot of people. I can't really say who is my biggest inspiration, but I gotta say most of them are either plush YouTubers, Sonic content creators like Sonic and Friends, and uh, Miles, Miles Tales 101, and all those other YouTubers out there that are either Sonic content creators or you know, just plush videos in general, those are like my biggest inspirations that kind of got me into YouTube in the first place. So I got this question a couple times from people, which was, what is your favorite Sonic game of all time? Um, honestly, that's a good question. Honestly, I think currently my favorite Sonic game is probably Sonic Frontiers. The reason why is because that game is so pretty. It's such a beautiful game. I love how serious it is. Like, it's probably the most serious Sonic game we have gotten. Um, just the emotion, the story, the visuals are beautiful. I fell in love with the voice acting, especially with Roger Craig Smith uh, voice acting Sonic in that game. It's so stunning because you can hear his emotion through his voice. It's so amazing, so well done. Um, the, the, the moments with Sonic and his friends are beautiful. The fact that Sonic and his friends are gonna part ways to go on their own adventures and stuff like that is always breaks my heart, especially with Sonic and Tails' moment. Because, you know, they've been together since day one. Um, and the fact that Tails doesn't have to depend on Sonic anymore and he can go on his own adventures and do whatever he wants. It, it just shows a little bit of character development from Tails a little bit. And we haven't gotten really much character development from him a lot in the franchise just because he's always by Sonic's side. Um, so I'm glad we got to see a little bit of character development from him. Um, the visuals are great. I, I love how it's a it's an open world game because we haven't gotten that in so long. Um, I gotta play the DLC. I gotta play the Final Horizon DLC for sure. I gotta play it and I'm probably gonna have Sonic play it on the, uh, as a gameplay series in the future. Um, pl probably play Sonic Frontiers in the future, make it a game series or something like that, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, overall that game, is, it's just so pretty. It's probably the best Sonic game we have gotten in a long time because we haven't gotten a good Sonic game in a while. And I'm glad we finally got that. I think the last good Sonic game we got in was probably... was probably Sonic Generations. And that was like the beginning of Roger Craig Smith's voice acting Sonic, so that was a long time. Um, but I'm glad we finally got a good Sonic game, and I hope we get good Sonic games like that in the future. Um, like, something like that would be, would be the right direction for Sega. So, yeah, Sonic Frontiers is currently my favorite one. What is your favorite kind of Sonic media? Um, ooh, good question. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know. Um, it's, everything is just Sonic to me, so I'll either play Sonic games or I'll either watch the Sonic shows or the movies or I'll read the comics or if you want to count like Sonic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog content creators on YouTube I'll either I'll watch that as well um, that's the most 
most of the time that's what I do. I watch uh, Sonic uh, YouTube channels on YouTube all the time. More than watching the movies, the shows, or play the games, I just watch Sonic content creators on YouTube, like Sonic and Friends and Miles Tales 101 and all those Sonic content creators out on YouTube. Um, I watch it. I can't really pick a favorite though because everything is just Sonic to me, so I'll, I'll do it if it's Sonic related. Like Sonic games or the Sonic comics or the movies or the TV shows and Sonic content creators on YouTube. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll watch them. Like anything Sonic related, I'll do it. I really don't have a favorite because everything is just Sonic to me and I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I love the franchise. So anything related to Sonic, I'll do it. But if I have to pick a favorite, I'll probably, if you want to count the Sonic content creators as Sonic Media, which I, I, I don't see why it won't be counted, but I'll count it anyways. I watch a lot of Sonic YouTube channels on YouTube, so that's most of the time what I do. But if that doesn't count, then probably the Sonic, sh probably focus on more of the Sonic shows or even the movies. Um, just I like to watch Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise as shows or as the movie the movie franchise I love looking at a lot um, I'm still excited to see the third one with shadow that's gonna be lit but other than that that's that's mainly my two favorites Sonic content creators on YouTube and the movies and probably count the TV shows as well because I like watching Sonic the Hedgehog. I like playing the games too but I'm more interested at watching like shows like Sonic X and watching the movies for example so yeah those are the like the main two things I like to do most of the time. What is your favorite moment from Sonic Prime? Ooh, definitely the fight between Sonic and Shadow in episode one of season two where Shadow was taking Sonic's tech by a battle with his gloves to his shoes and that whole scene was so lit it was so fire it definitely showed Sonic and Shadow's rivalry to the limit to the best way possible it's just something Shadow would do like Shadow was edgy throughout that whole battle not too edgy like in Sonic Boom like guys I never liked how Shadow was written in Sonic Boom. I never liked how he was introduced. I never liked his voice. No offense to the voice actor. I, I, I don't like how written he was. He never talked about his past. He never talked about his story. It was just so, it was written so poorly. Um, just the way he was introduced was so stupid too. Cause I know Sonic Boom was known for its fourth wall breaks and all that stuff. But the, the way Eggman introduced Shadow was just so stupid, like, he's like the second best Sonic character in the franchise and all that, it was just so stupid. I, I never liked how he was introduced. He was just done so dirty in the franchise, it was just not, it was not fair, it wasn't. And the fact that they, they cancelled the franchise with Shadow not being back and everything like that, it was just so, it was written poorly and he was tricked in the stupid way possible. Yeah, it's just, oh, uh, because Shadow isn't stupid. He isn't dumb. Like, I, I never, I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying not to rant, but he was just, it's, this was probably the worst version of Shadow. Because my, currently, before Sonic Prime, my current favorite Shadow character was probably the Shadow in Sonic X. Like, Son, Shadow in that series was so good. It was so, he was so bad, eh, watching him on television and throughout the franchise. He was, he was so cool. But Shadow and Sonic Boom was just not it to me. Um, but yeah, I'm done ranting about that. But yeah, Shadow and Sonic's rivalry in that episode was just fire. It was so lit. It was just the way they battled. I loved the animation in that scene. That scene was just so lit. It was pro It's probably my best moment from Sonic Prime by far. And it's probably my favorite episode from Sonic Prime. I can't wait to see season 3. Um, all that. Um, if you haven't seen Sonic Prime, guys, go watch it. It's it, it's it's mainly for kids and mainly aims for kids, sure. But it it gets it gets more fire the more you watch it. So if you haven't seen Sonic Prime yet, go watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, I can't wait to see season three. Um, I'm not trying to spoil it for the people who wants to watch Sonic Prime and wants to check it out for yourselves. But season three, I saw the trailer for season three or the sneak peek, I should say. And I can't wait to see it. It's gonna get so lit. Um, I can't wait to see where Sonic is gonna go from here after the end of season two. This, the end of season two was nuts. It was so crazy. It was crazy insane. So if you haven't seen Sonic Prime, go watch it. But yeah, that that battle is 
probably my favorite moment from the franchise by far, or probably from the show by far. Who is your favorite character that is from the Shatterverse from Sonic Prime? Ooh, so not counting the main ones, like Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, Rouge, and not counting Shadow either, because if you encountered like the whole cast of Sonic Prime, I would say Shadow on the dot, like no contest, Shadow's probably my favorite one, but from the Shatterverse, ah, ooh. It's got to be a tie between Nine or Rusty Rose. Definitely that. If I had to choose a third one, probably probably Th Thorn Rose as well. Um, but my close favorites is probably a tie between Nine and Rusty Rose. I can't really choose because both of them are so intense every time seeing them on screen. Nine is like... Nine is serious. Like, it's like you don't see that from a Tails at all. Tails is so innocent smart stuff like that and nine is smart he is crazy smart his tails are so bad a eh? his nine tails that he has is so cool to see on screen like the animation they did for those those nine tails are crazy insane i love that i love his character he is so bad a eh? he has his bad a eh? moments um and seeing him in season two just made it more insane like i said if you haven't seen sonic prime Go watch it. it it's, it's crazy. It, it gets more fire the more you watch it. Um, but I like Nine just for his character. His Nine Tails are so bad to see on screen. Um, and seeing his character in the story is you make you make him you make yourself feel bad for the guy, um, especially at the end of season two. Like the end of season two, you made him you made him like feel a little bit more. You make yourself feel a little bit more bad for the guy. Um, but he, he is pretty, he's pretty cool to see on screen. Same with Rusty Rose. Rusty Rose is so cool to see on screen as well. Her mechanic arms and stuff like that, seeing them stretch from one place to another. His, her legs, all that stuff. Her cool eyes, just, I think, I think from YouTube, I see mostly Rusty Rose, like, videos more than, like, other Shadowverse characters. I think Rusty Rose is probably the most popular popular one out of the show if not maybe nine but those are two are probably the most popular ones out of the Shatterverse uh in sonic prime i can't really choose between the two but top two is definitely nine and rusty rose those two are just really cool to see on screen to me i don't know what's your favorite music um so if you're talking about music in general i don't really have a favorite um but favorite like genre of music is mostly either pop uh rock um at times country, not all the time like as for pop and rock. I mostly listen to those most of the time. Um, what else? Uh, I like R&B. R&B is a great genre of music. I don't really have a favorite type of music. I don't have a favorite music to listen to, but my favorite genre will probably be either pop, rock, or R&B, and sometimes country. Not all the time, but sometimes. Um, th those are probably my favorite genre of music. Um, if you want to count like Sonic music, I would probably say, um, like, Live and Learn's a really good song to listen to. Um, Live Life. There Sonic is known for good music. Like, there's not a favorite one out of that either, but Live and Learn's like my top five favorites. Um, Live Life. Um, uh, Never Turn Back. Um, all that. It's just... There's so much good Sonic music, but if you're talking about music genre, pop, rock, R&B, and sometimes country. What would you do if a robber tried to rob your family except you? Well, first off, family means the world to me. I would rather not go out into the world and hang out with friends. I would rather stay here rather than doing that. I would rather be here with my family rather than doing that. So family means literally everything to me. So if a robber ever comes into this house, tries to rob my family, except me, I would literally walk up to that robber and say, hey, take literally anything I have and leave my family alone. I would give up my everything. I would give up my posters. I would give up my, my characters. I would give up the Legos behind me. I would literally give up anything. My games, my computers, my devices, everything, including my channel. Like, no offense to you guys, but... Family means more to me than anything. Like, if they matter to me more than anything. More than my channel. More than my friends. More more than anything. Like, they're my loved ones. They're my family. And I will focus on family more than anything. I will focus on my parents, 
my sister, my grandma, my grandpa, anyone. Any anyone related to me, I will I would protect with my life if I had to. So if a robber comes here, tries to rob my family except me, I was I would just walk up to that robber and say, Hey, take anything you want from me and leave my family alone. Like you could literally take anything. You could literally take everything if you had to. Like take everything, just leave my family alone. Um, and I'll, I'll give it up. I'll just give it up. Um, and if that robber is so occupied to give everything, literally everything that I have, I have enough time to call the cops and say, hey, there's a robber in my place robbing stuff from our house. Can you get over here fast so you can arrest him? Um, because that's what cops are for. Cops are there to serve. Cops are there to protect. Cops are there to just get rid of the, the bad people out there. Um, because this world... It's not a safe world, to be honest. The world is dangerous these days. The world has a lot of like bad people out there, so that's what cops are there for. Um, there's certain cops that doesn't that, that doesn't give a fly about you know serving and stuff like that, but there are certain cops that do, and cops are there to serve. So if there's anything dangerous happening to you, if there's anything like dangerous going on and everything, just call the cops. They'll get there. So. If a robber comes into this house, and if that robber is so busy taking everything I have um, instead of my family, I, then I have enough time to call the cops. And, you know, they'll serve and they'll arrest that robber. Um, like I said, family means everything to me. So I would rather have the robber take literally everything I have than, than having my family get robbed. That's just personally me. I don't know about you guys, but that's personally what I would do. Um, I, I wouldn't be happy about it. Like, I would literally give up everything I have in this room just so my family is safe. So that that's what I would do. Let me know what you guys think. That's actually a pretty good question. What would you guys do? Like, would you guys protect your family and just give up everything you have for them? Or would you just let it happen? Let me know in the comments below. That's a pretty good question. I kind of like that question. But I would I would rather get rid of everything rather than having my family get robbed. But that that's just personally me. Well guys, that is all the questions that I have received from you fans. Thank you guys so, so, so much for all your questions. They were great questions and I'm glad I got to answer them for you guys. You guys got to know me a little bit more um, as a person and as a YouTuber and show the type of person I am, like that robber question, for example. That's actually a pretty nice question because you guys got to see what I'm like as a person and as a person such as myself, I I would literally give up everything I have just to keep my family safe because family means more to me than anything. Um, so that that's the type of person I am because I'm loyal, I'm determined, I will keep I care for people. So I would literally give up everything I have in this room to keep my family safe. Um, that's a great question. I, I enjoyed that question. But if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Um, the day I upload this will be the last day of September, um, so I might do this a frequent thing, like like an end of the month Q&A, like October, uh, on October 31st will be the Q&A next time if we do another, uh, another Q&A, um, and then just keep keep doing that, like November, end of November, end of December, etc. Keep doing that kind of thing. Um, I will be doing a Sonic Character Q&A sometime soon. I will announce it when I'm ready to announce it, but I have been thinking about it for a while. So hopefully it'll be sometime soon. I, I kind of like doing these Q&As because you guys got to know me as a person rather than a person who voice acts and voice behind a camera um, all the time. So I'm glad you guys got to know me a little bit more um, as a person and as a content creator. So I like doing these and hopefully I'm able to do more of these in the future for the October Q&A. So I will announce uh, that Q&A uh, the, towards the end of October. So stay tuned for that one. Um, speaking of October, I, I want to announce that uh, in October I will be uploading some Halloween specials like on the day after today I upload this which is October 1st which is the first day of October. Um, I am uploading a Halloween reaction for you guys so stay tuned for that one. But I will be uploading some Halloween videos in October but there are going to be some times where I take a break from uploading just because I want to try to get my two Halloween plush videos out, which is episode one of Girl and the Phantom Hogs and the Sonic.exe Origins uh, plush video. I wanna try to get those two out in October. They're two plush videos and I don't really do two plush videos 
in the in a row of a month but i just feel like i'm so determined to do that because there's two plus videos that are that are perfect for October so I'm trying to I'm trying to get that out for you guys in October so stay tuned for that one trust me it's gonna be worth the wait you guys are gonna get so hyped so excited I haven't done stuff like this in October but I'm super excited but there are gonna be some Halloween specials out in October so stay tuned like I'm gonna do Sonic Shadow and Silver uh, play Bendy in the Ink Machine in the future in October so stay tuned for that one and there will be more Halloween reactions and I will try to get some Halloween comic dubs out there as well uh, in October, so stay tuned for those as well. Uh, man, my voice is going out. I gotta get out of here, but if you guys want to see more videos like this, please give it a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from the Blue Boy 360. Once again, thank you guys so much for all your questions. Hopefully, we'll do another one of these in October, so stay tuned for that one at the end of October season. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna get out of here. Stay, for to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Uh, tomorrow's video, like I said, will be a uh, Halloween reaction, so stay tuned for that one for the first day of October, October 1st. Without further ado, I gotta get out of here before I lose my voice. So I'll see you guys next time. This is Alicia signing off. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, speedsters.